Hi there. In this business topic video, we're going to introduce the concept of budget variances. We'll take a look at how they're calculated and also spend a little bit of time thinking about how they happen. Variances are all part of what's known as budgeting. So remember that a budget is a financial plan that's put together by typically the management of a business. It looks forward. It considers the likely revenues and costs and therefore profit of a business. And budgeting is an important part of the financial control of a business. Management prepare their individual budgets, perhaps a sales budget or a cost budget. And then as they go through the year or the period, they look at how the actual results compare with what they assumed in their budget. And the difference is variances. And if those variances are significant, then they take a look to see the reasons why a difference has arisen. So a variance analysis, the analysis of variances is all about firstly calculating and then investigating any differences that take place between actual and budget. And that's what we'll take a look at here in this video. So we mentioned a variance is a difference, a difference between actual and budget. And there are two key types of variance to think about. One is where things are better than expected. These are known as favorable variances. For example, sales being higher than expected. That would be good news for the business. The second type of variance is known as adverse variances. This happens when the actual results are worse than expected. Some bad news for the business. For example, costs turn out to be higher than the budget assumed. So favorable variances are where actual figures turn out to be better than the budget. The two key ones to remember where costs are lower than expected in the budget or where actual revenue or profits or both are higher than expected. And of course, you can see that adverse variances are likely to be the flip side, the alternative side of favorable variances. So adverse, remember adverse is bad. So actuals are worse than the budget. For example, a cost being higher than expected or a cost simply being there that wasn't in the budget at all. Let's look at a simple example just to show how you calculate a variance. On the table there, we've got a very simple summary of some financial information for a business showing sales, cost of sales. Take one from the other, you calculate gross profit. Take away the overhead to the business and you're left with operating profit. And you can see there's two further columns. One is the budget, that's the forward looking estimate, the plan. And the third column, actual. This is what actually happened. And a variance is really easy to calculate. It's just the difference between budget and actual. So let's have a look. Look at the first line, sales. Sales were actually 120,000 compared with the budget. So actually sales were higher than budget. That's good news. That's a favorable variance. The difference is 20. Cost of sales were also higher than budget by 10,000, 10,000 pounds. But of course, if costs are higher than budget, that's an adverse variance of 10. And you can probably therefore work out that the difference in gross profit was 10,000. 50,000 pounds worth of gross profit compared with a budget of 40. A higher profit than expected. That's a favorable variance of 10. Let's have a look at the overhead line. Here we're dealing with costs, actual cost, actual overheads were 20 compared with a budget of 15. That's an adverse variance, bad news, an adverse variance of five. And therefore, you can see that the operating profit must have been a favorable variance of five. And we see that operating profit of 30 was higher than the budget of 25. That's just a simple example. Sometimes variances aren't uh, displayed in the table. Sometimes you're given a little bit of information and you have to try and work out what the right information is to calculate the variance. So here's a, a quick one to have a go at. Maybe uh, pause the video just whilst you have a go at the calculation. We're told that the budget for business A last month was uh, in the table there. We had revenues budget of 35,000, gross profit of 16, operating profit of 15. Hmm. Now, actual revenues of 25,000 pounds and operating profit turned out to be 12. What was the, the operating profit variance for the month? Well, we're looking at the bottom line of the table, aren't we? We're told the budget profit, the budget operating profit was 15,000 pounds. The number we need to pick out from actual was 12,000 pounds. There's a difference of three. Profit was lower than expected. That's an adverse variance of three. 
Just a quick uh, few words on what causes these variances. Favourable variances are generally good news for the business, so it's usually where sales are higher than budget. That could be, for example, if the budget was quite cautious about the likely sales the business could achieve. Maybe it didn't anticipate being able to sell more volume or even increase the selling price. It could also be, of course, that the budget costs were too high and actual costs turn out to be much lower. Maybe the assumptions in the cost budget were too, too pessimistic. Maybe they assumed things would happen and maybe a price rise from a supplier that didn't take place. Or it could even be that the business has been operating much more efficiently and productively than the budget assumed and therefore costs turn out to be lower than expected. And of course, the flip side of favourable variances are the bad news, the adverse variances. Now, this often happens with budgeting, particularly where you're budgeting costs. Things happen in a business in a period uh, that you just didn't expect at all. A cost arises that you never budgeted, and therefore that's always going to be an adverse variance. It could be that you allow budget holders to overspend their budget, which is potentially bad news. And of course, on the sales and revenue side, it could be that the budget simply was too optimistic about what sales, the output or the price or both the business was likely to achieve in the coming period. All sorts of reasons why it's very easy with budgeting uh, to get the budget wrong and the variances to prove adverse. There we go. That's just a brief introduction to the concept of calculating budget variances.